Ahem, today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end, and in but a single night. The town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Roveport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Roveport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Oh my god, this game looks amazing! Welcome one and all to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, the long-awaited, highly anticipated Paper Mario game that you guys have been wanting to see me play for quite some time. I have not played this game in over a decade and this is the first time that I'm playing it for you guys. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. If you are, drop a like on this video. If this video can exceed 3,000 likes, I will marathon this like I did with Paper Mario Color Splash. I don't even know what's going on. Is this the intro to the game? I think it's the intro to the game. Yeah, it's definitely the intro to the game. I was gonna say, there has to be a title screen of some sort. But here we are, guys. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Uh, as you all know, I'm emulating this, which is why I have, like, extremely high quality playing this. I mean, it just looks amazing, man. I've seen some uh, LPs on YouTube of this game, and they did not look nearly this good, man. Not to brag or anything, but anyways, let's go ahead and... Oh, we get to write a name. That's cool. I didn't know that. Oops. I have my controls set up, and they might not be set up the way I wanted them to, but uh, I think this will work. I have them the way I had Luigi's Mansion's controls, so I mean, they, for the most part, should be the same, because I did set it up like a GameCube controller, but we're gonna go ahead and start the game as Sully, of course. Normally, I would do Mario, but that's a little too generic, man. I mean, Mario's not the hero of the game. I'm pretty much controlling the little puppet. Whoa, it's Mario's house! Oh my gosh, it's the same exact house from the original Paper Mario. I didn't know that. Oh, it's my boy, what's his name? Larry Carey Koopa, dude. Look at him, he's, he's still delivering mail after all these years. This is amazing, man. I'm glad you still have a job, dude. And Luigi's still, uh, you know, sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. Come on, Luigi. Go out and do something with your life, bro. I mean, you can't just sit at home all day. I'm going on adventures, and here you are just chillaxing, sipping tea. You know, you're not even making me proper meals or anything. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. Let me guess. It's an invitation to go uh, visit her castle at a party, I guess. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? I think Mario's illiterate. Ahem. Now, let's see here. What is it? What does it say? Tell me. I'm so eager to find out. Oh, I don't know how to read cursive. I mean, at least Luigi doesn't know how to read cursive, so that's why they put the captions up here. I actually don't know how to read that. I don't even think that's English, or it could be English. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. That's fantastic. When aren't you ever traveling? In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I mean, Peach, you're already a multi-millionaire. You're the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. You can do anything you want. You don't need treasure to do whatever you want. Me, on the other hand, I'm poor little Mario, dude. All I get are the coins that are, you know, 
all I get are the coins that fall from Goombas and Koopas and the ones that I find in the bushes, but that's pretty much it. I really think you should just send that map over and let me take care of it without, you know, giving you any cut whatsoever. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. Hey, she actually did. I didn't know that. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. So, uh, Princess Peach is ordering us to come. We all know we have to obey our princess. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Let's go ahead and see how this map looks like. Oh, yeah, Mario. You like it? He's loving it, dude. Whoa, look at that, dude. That is a beautiful map. And we're off. It's like the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Oh, another intro. Okay, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. You guys like my nice ship? A lot better than the ship that we took to Port Prisma and Mario or Paper Mario Color Splash. Do I? Oh, I click A. Never mind. I was expecting something else to happen, but dang, Luigi and Mario once again off in an adventure. If I remember correctly, their house was located where Princess Peach's castle was, like in the same area. So technically, they didn't really need to take a ship across the sea to visit the princess. But I think we're meeting her at Roadport, so that explains a lot. But here we go, the first episode, guys, the prologue. Obviously, we all know what the prologue episodes are about. Tutorials, Bowser, you know, wreaking havoc on the Toads and everyone else. Peach most likely becoming a kidnapped victim of Bowser once again. And, you know, Mario learning a couple new tricks here and there. You know, the same tricks he's always known, but just refreshing his memory on them. Excuse me, sir. Who's talking to me? Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Uh, whoa, I see it, man. My, my sight's a little blurry, but I think I see I see it. There it is, the beautiful town of Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. So this is it, guys. The adventure begins here. Apparently underneath this town is a fabled treasure. We all know that already. Wow, this game looks amazing, man. It looks... Almost up to par like Paper Mario Color Splash. Straight up, dude. It looks gorgeous. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? I mean, you kind of did, but I fell asleep. I'm not really one to listen to stories. Trust me, I've had so many companions that all they did were tell me stories. And then I got my brother Luigi who tells me stories. So I really don't like story time. What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Or, uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you better be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Why? Is it because these bob -omb bandits? Oh, cool. You could just do that with a ship, man. Apparently, uh, that's, uh, that's something you could do in the Paper Mario world. And here we are, guys, Rogue Port. And I have my hammer. That's awesome, dude. The game looks amazing. I cannot emphasize this enough. Hey, what are you doing here? Oi, welcome to Rogue Port. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save, because the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. But, you know, unlike uh, real life, you can't really pause your life and put it on hold and save it and then resume it later. It just keeps on going, man. Regardless if you die or not, life will always move. As sad as that is, but that's why you got to make the most of it, dude. And yes, we're going to save our game. Thank you so much for giving me that little piece of advice, dude. That's probably the most useful piece of advice I'll ever be given in this game. What's up, Toad? What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you uh, want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Why does he talk like that? I want to just smack you. Can I, I can't. No! I can't smack him like I could in Paper Mario Color Splash. This is my worst nightmare coming true, not being able to abuse toads. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Uh-oh, it's this guy! I remember him! I don't know who he is or what his name is, but I remember that face. That smug little face. Even though he doesn't really have a much of a face, but I remember him. Oh, come off it, you airhead! I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say, you creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be alright if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah, bah, bah! 
Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. His name is Lord Crump. That's such an ugly name for such an ugly guy. Not literally ugly in the sense that he's physically ugly in his appearance, but just as an individual on the inside, he's pretty evil, man. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? All right, this is time for Mario to go save the day. Hey, what are you doing? Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Huh, not likely. I guess it's time for us to fight this guy, huh? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you could screw up my plans? Yes, I do. I'm the hero of this game. God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb Uh-oh, here we go, guys. Our very first battle, which surprisingly is not against Bowser. I did not know that. And I can't flee this fight. And dang, we are finally back to the RPG mechanics. I've missed this so much. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week. Okay, he's the freak of the week. Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Do whatever you gotta do, man. So, uh, let's see if I remember. Oh, yeah, she got the, 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 the jump commands, the hammer commands, the items, and then tactics. Pretty sure we'll get badges soon and all that other good stuff, but we're gonna do this hold left and release when the thing lights up Essentially exactly like Paper Mario, so that's pretty good and Boom sucker nice two damage and uh, let's see how he's going to attack me if I can even block it sweet You know that hurt Wow, I gotta say you're tougher than you look keep it up and you'll beat him in no time Oh, yeah, and oh nice. I dodged it and it did absolutely no damage amazing you know, I wasn't really a fan of Paper Mario and even Paper Mario Color Splash where you block your enemy and you still take damage. Even if you do do a successful block, I just think it's kind of unfair, you know. Damage is still being taken regardless, but yeah, they can block and I don't do any damage on them. It doesn't make sense. It's kind of one-sided, you know, but this is definitely much better. I don't know if it's going to stay like that throughout the whole game. We're going to see, though. You've got him. Hit him on the... Or you've got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep welling on him. I got you, man. Oh, nice. Once again, a successful block. I feel like I should try out my jump attack. Press A just before stomping on an enemy. Woohoo! And that was a failure. And I guess we killed him! Wow, 5 HP! You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Wow, star points are also in this game. I'm literally telling you guys, I completely forgot everything about this game. I don't know anything about this game. I, I remember very small little pieces, but... For the most part, I don't remember anything, and that's good because it's like re-experiencing the game from the beginning, like as a new player. Yeah, I bet you know, but uh, you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So we got 10 so far, which is uh, pretty... S oh, 9. Never mind. Wow, they couldn't just give me that one extra star point to make it a flat 10. Ugh, ugh. Okay, you got a couple decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... What happens? It's go time! Oh my goodness. Wow, this guy is not joking. He really wants that information about the crystal shards or stars. Punish him! And thus, Mario dies. That's how he dies. Yep, as you can see, there's no way he's coming out of this one alive. I, I saw her, yeah. Quick, this way! Alright, get out of there, Mario. Let's go. Let's go, man. Phew. What a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I agree with you. Get me out of here as quickly as possible. And there's nothing over there. So I guess, you know, we're going to go up north over here. Maybe visit the town on this side. Ha, <laughs> suckers. Whoa, you're never going to find me. Stop! And what happened? What, 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 did, what is your observation, sir? Did you, uh, where did they go, huh? You, Johnson. Did you see them? Did anyone? And nobody saw a thing. Yep, you guys are loons. Oh, crud, they bolted. And that's it, you know. Uh, we escaped that mess, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing that guy very, very soon. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks, you're welcome. I just have... Oh, okay, why is there a... Why is there a, a, one of those rope things for somebody to be hung there? I think that's a little too extreme for a Nintendo game. Like, seriously, who do they plan on hanging? A toad? I mean, is that how they get mushrooms in the game? Like, seriously, they just hang them and Toad's head pops off and they just put it in a shop and sell it? I just gotta give you a little reward. What's it gonna be? No! I knew it was a kiss! I swear, I knew it. My name is Goombella. I am a student of the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, she's catching feelings right now for Mario, but I gotta say my heart's already taken uh, by my lovely uh, Toad wife. 
I'm just kidding. I don't have a toad wife. So, uh, who are you? My name is Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Yes, I did. Well, actually, I had a ride, but yes, I technically did. If that makes you sound cooler, then I, I rolled into town all by myself. You know, that's I'm just that good. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never, I'd never come to a place like this if it weren't some legendary treasure here. If there weren't any legendary treasure here is what you're saying. Oh, those guys! But they don't look like any ordinary uh, piantas. They look like they are FBI piantas, which is not okay, because now we're about to get in some serious trouble. What are you looking for? The legendary treasure too? Seriously? Yes. Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? A map. As you can see, it leads to the treasure. You can't be showing that map off everywhere you go, Mario. Seriously, that's like telling people you won the lottery and showing them your lottery ticket. They're just gonna steal it from you and go, you know, claim the lottery prize for themselves. Oh my gosh, is, isn't it that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. It was gifted to me by a princess. Princess Peach? What? Yes, I'm actually really good friends with her. Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Uh-oh. What? Are, whoa, what are they doing? Did they just beat up those... Why did they beat him up like that? Hey, it's my boy Toadsworth! He's back! You're back, my boy! I've missed you so much! Bit of a coincidence, bumping into one another in this sort of place! Mm -hmm. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Uh, you know, Princess Peach invited me, it's the same reason you're here. Hmm, ah, indeed, Princess Peach sent you the letter and the treasure map, yes. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing! Yes, very intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm, I was uh, about to ask you that. You don't know where she is and you're supposed to be the butler who always follows her? You're her minister, man. You're... A terrible, terrible guy. We stopped in this down to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. She really hates me. She just doesn't want to be around me. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I'll tell you. Well, you're, uh, it's all your fault, man. But I'm feeling better with you around here, Master Mario. Surely we will find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I'll leave this task to you. And where are you going to go? I believe I'll recline in that inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP running low. Get some tea. You should know everything about tea, I guess. Just drop and in. Oh, yes, anyways, a little rest. There will fill up all your HP. You see what he did there? He's th He thinks he's a comedian. Like, this guy actually thinks he's Dave Chappelle right now, dropping some fire puns, I, I guess. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed, you know, because uh, I guess, you know, we got some thugs and all that stuff and graffiti and m m mice and all that stuff. Um, princess Peach, did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? Do you know any of any other princess? Like, seriously? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a second, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you the treasure map? Yes, she did. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could have she gone? Then do you think? I don't know. You think she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Maybe. That could very well be a possibility. Oh, whoa, whoa. I know, Mario. Come with me. Where are we going? One of my professors is here researching the, that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to the Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario! And Goombella joined my party. Wow, a lot of things have so far happened in the first episode. We got a treasure map, we left our house, we met up with Toadsworth, we got a new party member, we also saved her, and uh, we're here in Rogueport. So uh, we can go ahead and press X, and she'll, I guess, give me some information about certain things. But you know what? The fun about this game is this discovering everything on your own, so I'm not gonna ask you for anything. Hey, what's up, Bling Goomba? That's Goom... 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 Goomther? Goomather? I don't even know how to say that. The Goomba, he's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her, so did you get all that? 
I kind of did, you know, I wasn't really reading, but I think I got the most of it. Goombella again, give you hints when uh, she answers, so ask her that for information often, and of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air and attacks enemies with her nasty head boy. I gotta say, you're probably not gonna be as good as Goombario, you know, because Goombario was my boy, dude. I taught him everything he knew, and plus his name kind of sounded like mine, so... You will always be my favorite little goomba in the world, not you. You gotta prove yourself, lady. She can also look up enemies' HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Wow, that's literally Goombario. You know, I kind of was thinking about it. Whoa, what was that little wink, dude? Why, why did you do that? That's kind of weird. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frank looks like. Whoa, he looks like a Goomba Egad, man. That is awesome. And whoa, she has her own HP too. We don't share any. That's actually fantastic. I love it. And obviously, this is the town right here. It looks very, very janky, man. I wasn't expecting this town to be janky at all. Like, I thought they were just joking, but... Hey, it's, uh, Tasty T, I think. Freeze! Actually, I don't think that's her. You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Why? What happened? Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. Okay, I'm gonna keep still. Hopefully, you can find your lens. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear. Okay, okay, I, I understand. Uh, uh, switch. I, uh, ah, idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? Uh, why was it right here? This is all your fault. Now I have to buy new contact lens, and you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Uh, I will whack you with my hammer. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. Did she call me in? She did. I, I ought to teach you a lesson, but you know what? I don't, I don't hit ladies. Mario doesn't hit ladies. He's not about that. He's not that kind of dude, so... I'm gonna let it slide this time, but you're gonna let me go through. I'm gonna block this gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. First of all, how does it fall out of your eye? And how does it break if for the most I guess back in the day they were made of glass. I do remember my grandpa wearing glass contact lenses, but that's because he doesn't really have good eyesight. So he needed something strong. This was like decades ago, so uh, almost like two decades ago. So yeah, I guess uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to end off the episode here and we're going to start on our adventure in the next one. We just kind of got past all the tutorial talking and all that good jazz. So in the next episode, we got our adventure cut out for us, which is finding her professor, showing him the map and hopefully figuring out where Princess Peach might be. Whether she went on the voyage by herself or whether Bowser came and kidnapped her and we don't know about it or whether she's hiding somewhere in Rogue Town. Who knows, man, where she could be. But I'm very, very excited excited to embark on this adventure with you guys and don't worry we're gonna have videos coming daily hopefully two videos a day three videos a day depending on you know the demand and how many likes you guys leave on this episode so uh, i really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i cannot wait to start on this lp for you guys and i will see you all in the next episode peace